refrigerator tent. Thirty-seven point eight. Okay. We're in defrost. So that was a refrigerator tent. And we're going to be measuring the defrost sensor on the refrigerator. We have a little chart here. Your voltage is up to the right. Temperature resistant voltage chart. So we have 2.13 and we're in defrost right now. Compressor is about to turn on. So if we go to 3.1 about right here 3.1 we're measuring 21.2 Fahrenheit right now we're measuring 36 but just keep in mind that's air temperature there this right here temperature they're measuring it at the defrost sensor 21.2 at 3.1 now we're gonna test uh, CN30 on the ground see I can focus here Any ground is gray in this case, kind of gray. And then CN30, our sensor for the defrost in the refrigerator, is a sky blue. Sky blue. And we're currently in defrost 3.148. Are you with me? Compressor just kicked on. Got power in the inverter. And our compressor is running right now, and we're still measuring off the defrost sensor. 3.186. You can see it. it's uh, rising. The negative temperature coefficient. So it's going to rise. So it more or less the defrost stopped about 3.0. 3.1 uh, 3.1 and then the compressor cut on about 3.1 so we convert that 3.1 we were at 21 degrees Fahrenheit when defrost finished you with me so 21.2 Fahrenheit at 3.1 and coil still cold 21.2 degrees Fahrenheit according to this so what we can do in this programming, this is your uh, MyCom or your EEPROM, and if you notice this is monitoring sensor checkpoint humidity sensor, freezer sensor, freezer defrost sensor, fresh food sensor, all the sensors communicating with that user interface in the front. So we can do, we can extend the defrost. How? We can do, do an option setting. So right now in defrost we cut off at about 21.2 degrees Fahrenheit. And well, with that option setting we can actually raise that temperature to like about 50 degrees and our resistance will be at 2.34 this is a new option you can do and it will extend your defrost time a little bit longer and it, you'll avoid those freeze ups, those ice ups in the back of your panel um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you we're gonna test the sensor inside the panel right now we're testing the sensor on the defrost Oh, I want to show you how to test the sensor on the cover itself. Okay. 
Okay, now we're testing the voltage DC for that fresh food uh, sensor. Same, leave your ground here. Find any ground. Right now I have it on the gray. Trying to focus, sorry about that. My camera's not the best, so this video's not gonna come out quite as good, but just pay attention to what I'm telling. And not so much the video quality. Okay, so this is just done on the fly, on just live. So I have no time to set up any special camera equipment. This is uh, real life here. So our fresh food sensor is this white wire on CN30. White. And we're pulling 2.7 volts DC. Now keep in mind in the temperature reading that we had in the beginning, we were 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Air temp. So let's convert to see if that chart is right. 2.7. 2.6, 2.7, we're about 37 degrees. So that's plus or minus five degrees. So it's dead on. If you notice, this is your voltage, the one on the right. In this chart, I'll try to put it up on a screenshot. That's your voltage, your resistance, and your temperature. Right now, 2.7. Point seven with 37 degrees Fahrenheit. So the lower the higher the resistance, the lower the temperature. The lower the resistance, the higher the temperature. It's a negative temperature coefficient. So we're accurate on this uh, sensor on that cover, the assembly cover. And I'm gonna show you what assembly cover we're talking about and what we're reading here. This is your assembly cover, back panel, and you have a sensor right in here, that's what we're reading right now. Previously what we were reading right now is another defrost sensor, the one that's located right here on the pipe, right behind this panel. And here I'm logging on to the GSPM website for Samsung. Um, so there's several defrost issues with these Samsung refrigerators. Um, I've uh, talked to several tech support people, several technicians, and uh, I can tell you, I can honestly tell you that these Samsung tech support uh, guys um, won't admit that there's an issue, but they uh, done these uh, this option setting and it programs it for a longer defrost and it does work uh, there's about two tech support guys from samsung that i talked to i tried it and ever since i tried it on these 2016 models it's been working for me uh, just keep in mind uh, uh, the newer uh, samsung refrigerators are coming out with a new control board and a new programming although we don't have much information um Koreans are real secretive as far as uh, putting out this type of information. All they do is tell us they came out with this new main board uh, to relieve the issues uh, on the frosting of your uh, ice makers. There's several kits that uh, have come up. And uh, we cross reference them with the serial number. And with that, we'll get a kit. And with that kit comes with an ice maker, comes with a new main board and a uh, new drain tube for your ice maker. And I just keep in mind, um, this main board's tied into uh, all the sensors. And uh, I'm talking to the people that uh, have worked on these type of units they've seen them they've done basically every single type of upgrade that there is a cover the sensor the drain tubes and right here what we're looking at is the sensors are saying that the, on the left side here is the wrong position uh, also they talk about here uh, cleaning out the drain pan the drain tubes with a trombone cleaner 
this is a drain leakage part number that it goes in the back of your uh, unit so it can drain properly drain clip this all started back in 2015 maybe even before and uh, so it's been an ongoing issue this is right here units produced from January 2013 so it goes back as far as January 2013 so they've had this issue am um, I saying that it works this programming I'm just telling you that it's kind of a relief um, if you had any issues it's worth a try and uh, it uh, pretty much is kind of like the last step on these older models uh, try to try to bring it up to uh, a better defrost try to uh, you know, make your unit work I know there's these units are like two thousand dollars and people don't have that kind of money to spend so um, hopefully maybe this option that I'll show you on another video uh, we can save you guys some money, you know. So, and right here, what I'm doing is just going through the website the manual, and it's telling us the temperature chart that we saw in the video. This is a uh, the temperature chart that Samsung uses. Um, reads Fahrenheit voltage and resistance off that sensor. This is the main chart that they use. Um, that's pretty much it. In the next video, I'll show you how to do that programming, and I'll try to make it uh, as soon as possible. Thank you, guys. You have a good day.